Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss some NUST entry test sample questions, which are related to the topic binomial induction. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the first question. NC1 plus 2 into NC2 plus 3 into NC3, so on till N into NCN equals what? Okay, now, in order to understand this, I need to know one thing that R N C R can be written as N into N minus C R. Okay. This is what we need to know. Okay. Now, what do we have in the question? In question, we have r n c r okay we have one here so this is r and this is r this is two and this is two three and three so this is what we have we can write all this in this form how i can write this expression let's call it one as n c n minus one one plus n n minus 1 c2 plus so on till n n minus 1 c n okay now i can see one thing very clearly that i have n common in every term so i can take it out and write all this as n minus 1 c1 plus n minus 1 c2 plus so on Till, till I have n minus 1 c n. Okay, so far we are not sure about the answer. Again, we need to refer to a property. We know that n c 1 plus n c 2 plus so on till n c n. This sum is equal to 2 to the n okay so what is the difference in this pink one and this red one the only difference is that here we have n minus 1 and here we have n again n and here we have n minus 1 so when we had n we had 2 to the n so can i write all this as 2 to the n minus 1 because that is the only difference and I had this n already, so I can write it this way. So what am I getting? I am getting C as my answer, right? So again, in this section, apparently it would look like that the questions are difficult and stuff like that, but that is not the truth. Questions are very easy. It's just this, that we need to refer to the properties which you guys have to learn, okay? Because otherwise in NT, obviously they would not be giving you any data booklet. Um, so you'll be learning all this and then you'll be applying this. So once you know everything, once you have everything in your mind, these questions become very easy, right? So here, again, we just used two properties, this one and this one, and rest was done by our own, right? We took n common and then we replaced this n with this n minus one and everything is was same. Okay, let's talk about the next question. All right, so this is the next question. So what do we have in the next question? We have 3C3. Okay, I, I, I need to tell this as well that obviously 3 and 3, right? This type of an expression is read as three c three okay so i assume that this thing is understood now again this number is same and this number is changing by one right okay and for this Again, we need to refer to a 
a property. So we know that, forget about the question, let's talk about this property. If we have n c n plus n plus one c n. Now this is n plus one c n, right? We have three here and we have four here. Okay, plus if we have n plus two c n plus so on till 2n minus 1cn, this sum is equivalent to 2ncn plus 1. Okay, now what I have written is based on a property, right? This is a property, this is given, this is what we should know, right? We need to make comparisons with this property and this question. So we can see that the last term is 2n minus 1 and the answer is 2n cn plus 1. So we need to figure out the last term. So we have k plus 2. Since 2n minus 1 plus 1 is 2n, so I need to add 1. That is going to give me k plus 3. And for this, I need to do n plus 1. So what is n? n is 3. So this means that 3 plus 1 would be 4. So the final answer would be this one. So I can write this as k plus 3 c4. So this basically is k plus 3 4. Right? I can write it this way. Just like this one. So the answer would be d. Okay. Now, again, as I said earlier, every question in this section would become easy for you only when you know all the theorems and all the properties, right? So if you're not able to understand it here, this means that you need to work on your um, theorems and properties and all that stuff. Only then you would be able to solve questions correctly. Okay. So this is the ninth question. Okay, now here we have NCR, but what is the difference? The Ns are same, but Rs are changing, right? By two, this means that this is the sum of all the odd terms, okay? So again, we know that nc1 plus nc2 plus nc3 plus so on till ncn. This is 2 to the power n. Okay. And here we have both odd and even terms. Odd and even terms. Right. We have both odd and even terms. So, and the next thing is that sum of odd equals sum of even. This means that they are equally distributed. The odd ones and even ones are equally distributed. So if this is the sum of all the terms, and if we are particularly interested in the odd terms, so this implies we need to do 2n divided by 2. That will give me 2 to the n minus 1. So A is the answer. Again, this question is something which... I know two properties, two theorems, okay? I'm not doing anything by my own. This is something which we need to learn, okay? Right. And let's talk about the next question. So here we have, <clears throat> if x to the 18 occurs in the arts term, in the expansion of this, then what is the value of r? Okay. All right, again, before even talking about what the question is, let's talk about the R term. Okay, now if we are interested in R term, R term can be calculated as T P plus one. What is this P plus one? This P plus one is basically R, okay? And this is equal to A to the power n minus p, b to the power p. What is a and what is b? This is a plus b to the power n. Okay. Now, in this question, we have a as 
टू एक्स टू दी फोर एंड बी एस माइनस थ्री एक्स ओके सो दिस मीन्स दैट इफ वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दी Rth term, we need to do it this way. Two to the x power four, that is a power nine minus p because n is nine, n is nine. Okay, and then we have minus three x to the power p. So I'll write p as it is because I need to find p in order to find r, and we are interested in x to the eighteen, right? So this means that x to the four into nine is thirty six minus four p. Multiplied by x to the power p. Now you guys must be noticing I have forgotten about this two and this minus three because I am only interested in x to the eighteen. What was the question? If x to the eighteen occurs in the rth term in the expansion of this, then the value of r is okay. We are interested in finding out the value of r in order to find the value of r. We need to find the value of p. And for finding the value of p, I need to make comparison, okay, of the in index. So this implies that on the on this side, that is the left hand side, I will have thirty six minus four p plus p because when bases are same, powers are added. What is the base? X is the base. I'll rewrite it just so it is more understandable. So this is going to give me thirty six minus four p okay, so x are same. I have x on both sides, so I can write this as thirty six minus three p because minus four p plus p is minus three p equals. Eighteen. I'll take eighteen to this side and minus three p to this side. This will give me eighteen equals three p, and this implies p is six. So is the answer a? No, it is not because we were interested in finding out the value of r. So we started off by writing down the r term, and we had p plus one equal to r. So p plus one equals r. This implies p plus one would be six plus one, that is seven. So b would be the answer. Oh, sorry, b b was the answer. Okay, so this is the answer, right? So again, in this question, I made use of a property of this property that whenever we are interested in finding the rth term. We will refer to this, okay? If we had this a plus b to the power n, and we want to find a particular term, let's say rth term, this is how we expand it. So obviously, I made comparison of the power because I was told that I'm interested in finding out the power of x to the eighteen. So I just had to compare these and this. When bases are same, powers are added. So the power of this would be added in this. And this gave me thirty six minus three p equals eighteen. And finally, after finding p, I got that it is equal to six. But six is not the answer because r is basically p plus one. So p plus one would be seven. So this is the answer. This is why the answer was p. Okay, so we are done with all these questions.